bower birds will spend a whole lot of time making their bowers like perfect. And that's just the bower bird. Now, birds are dinosaurs, right? So what mating rituals did non-avian dinosaurs do? These guys. I guess depending on where they lived, you know, maybe they did something similar. They grabbed a bunch of pretty looking flowers and put it in front of maybe a den, uh, maybe their nest, maybe, you know, whatever that they created to be their home. Maybe they would do. Maybe Carnotaurus would clear out a whole area of sticks and leaves and all sorts of impurities and then do a little dance for Mama over here to be like, hey, I can clean up real nice. I clean this whole spot just for us. And I'm going to do a little dance for you, too. What do you think? What do you think? Maybe they did stuff like uh, Birds of Paradise, where they had maybe brightly colored fleshy bits. Or, you know, maybe some of the feathered dinosaurs had really big, like, floofy feathers that would pop out. And the males would be all iridescent or brightly colored and really pretty and do, you know little puff-ups or dances or whatever for the ladies and they'd have to be judged by the females and see how they did maybe they'd fight each other maybe they'd like square up and be like hey i'm big and tough see this ladies oh oh i'm too small and weak i don't know if i'll ever get a lady or maybe they had just a crest like dilophosaurus or cryolophosaurus and it had that recognition of hey we're the same species but look how pretty I am. Look how big this is. Isn't this nice? You like this? You like it? It's cool, right? It's cool. You, you like this. Dinosaurs are just crazy. And that's just the ones that are like similar to birds, right? What about the ones that aren't, that, that didn't even turn into birds? Like the Ceratopsians or the Thyreophorans. Did they do any kind of fighting? Did they do any kind of display structures? Did they do any dances? Did they just have like a spot to be like, hey, I'm ready, I'm ready to mate. I'm, I'm pumped up, ready to go. And you, they just sit. Is it like penguins? Some penguins will give the female gifts. They go off and they find like a rock or something. And they're like, what do you think about this rock? The lady's like, I don't know about that one. And he's like, okay. And then he goes off and he goes and finds another rock. And he's like, hey, what about this rock? And she's like, you know what? That's a pretty good rock. Why don't you put that right there? We'll add it to our uh, rock pile when we make our nest, and then we'll make a nest. And then the dude's like, nice. Nail. What about sauropods? Like these guys. Did they have any mating rituals? Or did they just do it, and then they were like, okay, for the clan, for the tribe, for the, you know, whatever. We got to keep the, the herd together. We got to make sure we make a bunch of babies. So then if some of them die, which they most likely will because it's like sea turtles, uh, but we, we still will survive! You know, we, we just don't know. Those are some things that paleontologists just won't know and will probably never know because it's a very um, non-skeleton thing, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, according to this paper back from April of 2015, two oviraptorosaurs, stuff that kind of looks like oviraptor, were discovered... Um, and they're, they were named Romeo and Juliet. Reason being that Romeo had larger and specially shaped tailbone. This indicates that it had a greater capacity for courtship displays and was most likely a male. Juliet, on the other hand, had shorter and simpler tailbone, suggesting a lesser capacity for peacocking and has been interpreted as a female. So this is most likely what Romeo and Juliet looked like. Romeo over here, peacocking, making himself look fun and colorful and probably doing a little dance. And then we got Juliet over here, chilling out, judging the display, making sure it's to her specification. So obviously there is evidence of stuff like this, but just not a lot because it's really hard to find. And just a year later, we had another paper that was talking about courtship trace fossils, which trace fossils are fossils that are like footprints, or in this case, scrape marks that could have been a courtship with non-avian theropods in the Cretaceous. Probably looked a little something like this, scraping the feet, making some noises, maybe a small little dance, and then like what's going on behind me, uh, getting busy. So we do have fossil evidence of dinosaurs actually doing stuff like this, like birds of today, 
maybe a little bit more simplified back then because, you know, they weren't as smart as birds are today, but there's evidence of them doing stuff like this. So what kind of courtship displays or maybe courtship uh, dances or something like that, what do you think dinosaurs did? Let me know in the comments below.